Hi everyone, welcome back to I am Gizmo Geek. I know this has been a long time that I posted a video, but uh, I was occupied by my work, so I'm slowly trying to put some more videos. Uh, I'm already working on making some videos on some sound bars, so stay tuned so that you will be able to see more content from the channel. Today I'm going to show you my desk, which is the IKEA Utes Player. Uh, test that I bought last year uh, and I will be showing you a small tour of my desk what all the items I keep on my desk and how did I set it up and uh, I'll also briefly first show how did I set up this desk because it's an IKEA desk we have to install it on our own so let's uh, quickly give you a glimpse of the assembling video first the desk is delivered in this kind of box I actually carried it myself from IKEA in my hatchback car with a lot of effort as the extra delivery charges were way costly. Once you open you see the tabletop, metal stands and bundle of screws with required tools. No extra tools will be required thankfully. I first went through the installation guide thoroughly to understand the sequence. The first thing to assemble is the bottom leg and the level screws. Once the four legs are ready, attach them to the T-shaped section and fix at your required height. You will have your pair of table stands ready this way. Then you fix the horizontal bars to join the legs and form the total metal frame. Once you tighten all the bars, make sure that the frame is stable. Then you place the tabletop and wire mesh on the floor and place the frame upside down to fix the tabletop. This was the most exhausting part to tighten all the numerous screws one by one. Once this is done, you would need help from someone to put it in position. It took around 1.5 hours to slowly understand and fix the complete table. It was exhausting and enjoying at the same time. If you follow the steps in the guide provided, it's not that difficult, except for the time taken and occasional heavy lifting. So I suggest that you can do it by yourself. It's not that difficult. Then finally, you hang the cable mesh organizer at the bottom using the hooks. So this is how I set up my IKEA desk in my living room. Uh, over here if you can see the IKEA desk is pretty large. I always wanted a large desk so that I have a lot of space on the desk to use a lot of items. I have it doesn't look cramped. The, my previous table was smaller like 1 meter. This is 1.6 meter uh, length or width and the depth is 0.8 meters and it doesn't look very cramped i have a large space to keep all things over here now this the table top is made of particle board uh, but good quality particle board it doesn't peel off easily or it doesn't have scratches you know, due to the usage uh, you can see it's already one year and there are hardly any scratches over here it's pretty strong and it has melanin uh, foil on top of the particle board so it protects the particle board and I even cleaned a couple of times with uh, the cleaner, the liquid cleaner and uh, it doesn't have any uh, issue with it. And whereas the back side, you have the grill, this metal steel grill and uh, this gives uh, a good way to have your airflow through the cabinet. I place the cabinet over there so that there is airflow and uh, there's also a gap in between the steel part and the tabletop so that all the cables can go easily uh, below for your arrangement this tabletop can be arranged in two ways one is like this with the ridge uh, coming this you can see the c cut of the tabletop face this side but you can also turn totally uh, 180 degrees and get the c uh, cut over here so that you are closer to the monitor if at all you want you can you can have your uh, the chair going inside so it's upon you which way you want i kept it like this because i thought it's better to have larger space over here gap so that all the cables can be easily managed now this uh, backside part the metal part you can also mount your uh, monitors using the arm mounts i already did once uh, i had another monitor uh, I'll put a picture over here so that you know that it's easy to mount even the um, monitors on this. But what I would suggest is to use the mount where the 
there is a um, extra metal part over here so that way there is larger strength over there now coming to the bottom part uh, you have a cable bag or a cable organizer bag uh, that you can keep all the cables inside and uh, it looks clean when you are seeing from the outside all the cables are not hanging around and the bag is also very sturdy it takes a lot of weight this power uh, brick is actually the power socket is extension box is very heavy but it can easily take because this has this pins where these can easily go inside so that way uh, the cables are organized well but the only issue is whenever you want to remove one cable out it is it becomes a big mess you have to open everything and hold the cables and then uh, see that one of the cable is coming out but this the black color polyester bag takes care of all the cables without any issue of being coming on the face now coming to the leg part this is all made of very sturdy metal this is very heavy and uh, it can take your load easily and uh, you can see over here this height is adjustable for uh, now as of now i've kept it at the highest high height which is 78 centimeters but i can uh, unscrew this uh, uh, bolts and uh, get it over here till uh, 680 uh, mm so that i can get the table down uh, so this is the range that you get around uh, 10 centimeters or 100 mm of uh, height that you can adjust but obviously whenever you want to adjust it's a manual thing that you have to do you have to open the screws on all the four sides and get to the level that you want it's good to have that option so that everyone can fix at the height they want to and also at the bottom you have those uh, uh, adjustable uh, level screws so that way uh, if at all you have a uneven uh, bottom uh, you can easily adjust those for your uh, leveling of the table i bought this table for 12000 from ikea there was no offer at the time the only offer i got was the citibank uh, credit card offer which i got 10% uh, cash back so effective 10800 for the table uh, it's on the higher side i would say for the table but the quality is really good uh, i don't have to think about another table for at least five to six years and it's very big so it caters all my requirement that way it's uh, worth the money uh, only if you have the space because it's a very large table you need to check whether you have the space or not and uh, coming to the negatives of the table there are a couple of negatives one is you don't get any cabinet along with it because generally whenever we are buying some tables you get some drawers but you don't have any drawers I bought a separate drawer from Amazon where I keep all the stuff required, the computer stuff over here so that I can easily access them. And the second negative is the marks, uh, it easily catches uh, fingerprint marks and uh, even uh, you can see I placed a cup so that mark is not easily uh, cleanable. Even though I used as I said liquid uh, cleaner, uh, it doesn't go easily uh, because it's black, matte black as though it looks pretty slick uh, it can easily show the dirt as you can see already the dust and everything is clean clearly visible even though i cleaned just yesterday so that's one thing you have to keep cleaning because it's black now let me show you individual items on my desk this is my uh, computer rig which has i5 11 gen processor and uh, a stock motherboard with 16 gb ram and uh, one m.2 SSD and also a Samsung uh, SSD along with 650 watt uh, uh, PSU. This cabinet is from uh, Deepcool Matrix. This Deepcool Matrix 55 and uh, this is pretty slick. You can even change the color of the uh, RGB easily. So I love the look of it. This is the TP-Link uh, Wi-Fi adapter because uh, this doesn't have inbuilt Wi-Fi adapter. I had to buy a USB one. Uh, the, I have the router a little far place, so I cannot connect it with my LAN port. So I, I'm using this TP-Link one. I'll be placing the links of all these items uh, in the description so that if at all some of the items you like, you can uh, look around and buy it. Now coming to the monitor, this is the OnePlus uh, X27 monitor, which has uh, 2K HDR display. HDR 400 and 165 Hertz refresh rate USB-C port you can see over here the USB-C port is over here 
uh, you can use it for charging also 65 watt charging is supported on this uh, cable and uh, i can also use it for type c display uh, so i switch between charging and uh, displays it also has usb aux output and uh, dp hdmi ports uh, and uh, it has pretty sleek display as you can see it's pretty good uh, the brightness i'm set it up at a very low value because it's pretty bright i can say uh, so i kept it around i'll show you uh, the brightness i have set it at 15 because it's pretty bright for me if i'm using in hdr mode it's so bright that uh, my eyes start hurting so i use hdr only when i'm gaming so i have already posted a video on this uh, monitor you can check that but this also has swivel height adjustment and also i can tilt totally to vertical position i'm not doing it now because it will move all the items so you can do it that too so it's pretty multifunctional this is a playstation light i bought from amazon for around uh, 1800 rupees and this has button to change the modes also light modes so this i used to lighten up and because i have a ps5 and i play a lot on that i wanted to have that kind of a logo i like this logo so i bought this and next up these are the small plants to add some green to the table i have one over here and one on the other side i bought a set of six uh, of these i think from amazon for 200 or 250 i'll leave a link of that also but this looks very cute with white and green accent it adds a very good contrast to the table and the next one is the blue yeti uh, mic that i use for my audio so this i bought from amazon again uh, this was around 12k but i got it at a 50 percent discount and luckily i got this for around 6500 i guess uh, which was a pretty good deal and i love this it has a lot of modes in it so and the audio quality is also very good on this next up is the creative pebble v3 which is a 8 watt uh, speaker it has usb c and also aux and bluetooth and uh, it has this 45 direction 45 degree direction so that uh, it feels that the sound is coming towards you and they are like powerhouse i got it for 3000 because i didn't want a very big uh, speaker i wanted some mini kind of speakers but which are powerful enough to give very good audio output i didn't want any subwoofer to again spacer take the space below so this is pretty good it has a very good base also you can see over here this gives a very good base whenever something is playing through it so i love this it adds very good uh, it has black so it goes well with my desk and also the chrome or the rose gold color adds some contrast to the table and next up is the 50 watt charger of oneplus wireless charger uh, dash charger or the fast charging you can call it as wireless fast charger this i got uh, i guess i used my red coins to buy this from the oneplus red coin store uh, it was uh, this cost around 3800 i guess uh, generally and next up is the mouse this is the logitech g300s i got it from flipkart for somewhere around 800 i guess which generally is sold at around 1200 it's a pretty good deal it has nine configurable buttons and also an rgb light this can be configured through the uh, gaming software logitech gaming software it has it can go up to 2500 dpi uh, you can change the dpi from here so it's pretty good uh, the feel and the placement of your thumb and all thumb rest is very good you get the texture over here uh, so i love this for usage it doesn't have any stress on my hand then i have this uh, red gear shadow blade uh, mechanical keyboard this is the blue switches with rgb lighting and this lovely volume knob such a pleasure to use this volume knob as you can see if whenever i'm using this um, it can easily control the volume and you can play pause so i love this uh, this has uh, even a your wrist support over here it gives a light slight support for the wrist 
the keystrokes are really good has good feedback and even you can configure the buttons and also change the colors rgb modes and all i got this for around 2100 i guess which is a pretty good deal next this is the zebronix uh, gaming mouse pad with rgb lighting so this is a large excel size uh, mouse pad that i use to place my keyboard and the mouse so this gives very good uh, rest support and also uh, it keeps the desk clean the only issue is because it's black it uh, attracts dust easily so it's difficult to clean it's hard to clean and you can see some scratches are also here it's just been eight months i guess so that way i would suggest if at all you get some printed kind of mat that would be better than going for a complete black one and uh, this rgb is also a little light maybe only when you keep the the brightness is less so when you keep in a dark space it will be much visible as of now you can see the light is a little less bright so but it's good you have a little, lot of rgb modes to use it then i have the google home mini that i use for controlling uh, smart home devices and maybe sometimes cast my music to this it's easier on that and uh, i bought it around like five years back uh, for 2000 and it's working really well and the sound audio output is actually very good for the uh, cost then i have this batman bobblehead uh, i'm a great batman fan so i have a lot of uh, batman figurines as you can see and the batmobile this i think i got from amazon and this my brother got it from us this is an amazon table lamp that i bought uh, when i saw at my friend's place and a lot of friends after that started buying this when they saw at my place because it gives a very good lighting it has space to keep things i can keep my router or my google home mini itself over there and gives a very good ambience whenever i want don't want to put my lights on i can just keep that light on and use the computer you must have already realized that uh, i love rgb lights so i stick this led lights multicolor led lights that i can change the patterns and colors and stick it around the table uh, from the bottom so that it gives an illumination from the bottom and uh, it doesn't directly fall on the eyes but it gives an ambience i have the controller over here so i can easily change turn it off and on and then even change the modes so whichever mode i want to i can easily change the color and uh, fix that let me turn off the light so that you know how it looks so as you can see at the bottom I get all the blue color because of the LED so I get a very good ambience whenever I am working I also have this chair of Godrej that my wife got from work as a part of work from home initiative I think I don't know exactly the model of this but I'll place the link for this uh, chair it's pretty costly as I remember this costs around uh, 12,000 or 13,000 I guess but uh, I'll place a link for that it's comfortable but it's not for long uh, hours because it doesn't have any headrest or the thigh support is also not that great but it's comfortable for short time usage and then finally I have this uh, small cabinet that I bought from Amazon for 1800 and this is openable like this can be opened over here this opens on one side here i keep all my organizers and uh, batteries here i keep my controllers ps5 controllers and the uh, pc controller and over there i keep all the other electronics that i hardly use so that way i get pretty good space but the only issue is because it's almost open a lot of dust gets accumulated so i have to keep cleaning it that's about it that's my desk I hope you guys like the arrangement and also the items that I use 
if at all any item that you like you can find the link in the description and if at all you have any suggestions you can post it in the comments you want to know anything about the desk or any of the items over here i may not be able to post a review of each of the item so that's why i thought i'll show what are the items i have so you can ask uh, my feedback about any of the items that i use so i'll try to give a reply and give a detailed feedback of whether you should purchase that item or not so that's about it thank you uh, for watching the video and uh, see you guys in the next one